So you guys probably noticed there's been a change in the content that I've been putting out lately. Um, it's definitely not something a lot of people like. I know that because it's not really getting a lot of views. But for me, it's really nice because I get to talk about things that I love and enjoy and care about. And I also talk about the people that's pretty much fucking it up. And especially some of my old favorite content creators I followed on YouTube. And how they was once a humbled Mr. Rogers of the internet to now literally Jabba the Hutt, but stupider and dumber and stupider. <laughs> I can keep going. But if you hop on my channel, you can take a look. I've been talking about Boogie a lot. We talk about Review Check USA, Dr. Disrespect. We've been talking about the other stuff with the Kotaku stuff, the Dreamcast guy, as well as a few other things. Now, always when I created this channel, when I created this channel, I always had gaming in mind. I had two core things, gaming and mental health. I, I always was passionate about it. I never really got to spend a lot of time talking about mental health because, A, YouTube, for some odd reason, doesn't like that. The algorithm shoves that shit away. It's like, hey, no way. We don't want you to give advice about mental health stuff that may help other people that suffering from mental health issues because reasons. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why a lot of people don't want to hear that. Probably still there's a stigma, though. That people's like, oh, the depression's not a big deal. Just drink a Coke and walk away and play a video game or go jerk off somewhere. You'll feel better. Um, I don't know why people are like that. I don't. But there's a lot of people that are ass backwards on a lot of things. But I've been covering a lot of this stuff because it's been very interesting. I hopped on X um, about, you know, about a month ago. Uh, for the first time in a while, I first started out talking about Michael Eline and the elite laws and it's like, hey, this motherfucker hates uh, veterans and all this stuff and he wants kids to have bone cancer. He, <laughs> he, he's a domestic abuser and for some odd reason people didn't really care, especially if you talk to YouTube about it. You're like, oh, everybody go report, report him, report him and nothing ever happens. That's usually how it goes for all of YouTube, and I'm just waiting for the Adpocalypse 3.0 or 4.0 or 5, whatever we're at, whatever sequel we're on, to happen. But I did want to talk about Boogie 298 with this video because a, um, I used to be a super fan to a very depressing degree. Like I, I made my content originally based off him. I was inspired by his content because I just looked at it and say, hey, here's this fat guy. Uh, he had a hard upbringing, which I wouldn't say my life was super hard, but I did have my moments. Uh, I seen a lot of things I didn't want to see, and I have a lot of problems dealing with it even today. And I was watching him because, you know, he made some good videos. He just talked about gaming, mental health, and just being humble, like a humble person. People gave him the moniker of the Mr. Rogers of the Internet. And... It's been like that for years. Like, I, I, I messaged him, like, hey. And every time he'll, like, message me back, I was like, yeah, that's fucking awesome. Uh, that's great. It means the world to me. And, you know, you keep on going down the line till we are where we are now. You watch somebody go from Mr. Rogers to fucking job of the Hut, but dumber, stupider, smellier, sluggier, fraudlier. Dumbler, I'm going to keep on making fucking words up to talk about this guy. And, you know, it's pretty sad just watching, like, somebody that you idolize when you was younger. And I'm not saying I was in my 20s. And, like, yeah, I say always up until, like, I was 20, maybe 30. I don't know, 35. I don't know. I know it's been a while. I don't, I don't really talk about him anymore. Because um, you started to see the tr cracks, like, especially when he had his... Uh, gastric bypass surgery, whatever the fuck he had. Uh, same thing I had that I felt miserably at, which he felt miserably at. That's something we can have in common, I guess. Um, but you've started to watch the downfall of somebody that was once revered as a good guy become the ultimate villain, um, which is despicable. You know what they say, so you never want to meet your heroes because you'll come out disappointed. That would be that case. I always wanted to like, have an interview with Boogie. I always wanted to podcast and all that stuff and meet him at like, a convention, but now I don't want anything to do with the guy. And I know some people will be like, hey, why are you making these hate videos on Boogie? Wasn't you his biggest fan? Yeah, I used to, like I said, I'm not going to deny that. I was blind. We all get blind sometimes. And like I said, 
sometimes uh, the people you idolize turns out to be giant pieces of shit. And this is that case with that. And like seeing the stuff he's doing to try to stay relevant, especially with the crypto stuff, the low-cow podcast, which one of the most embarrassing things that came out of that, let me tell you, when Keemstar pretty much pretty much fired him for the most part, but Keemstar made him beg on his knees uh, and beg to Keemstar because he's fucking stupid. He's fucking stupid. And Keemstar is like, oh, you're a bitch. And Boogie started doing his low-cow event, which I'm not... I'm not saying anything bad about Keem. I actually like Keem. He has a pretty spicy past with saying some things. And I know what he, he knows what he is. Uh, that's why I like him. He knows exactly what he is and he doesn't give a shit uh, what anybody thinks. He already has his money, so whatever. Um, and I know a lot of people are going to take from him, like, you support Keem. You're a Nazi. Uh, which that's another thing they pass around on X quite a bit for no reason except for they dis if you disagree with somebody they automatically first response is either white supremacist or nazi which we're not going to dive into that but i do want to talk about something after that here in a moment so like i said you see a lot of people is actually calling him out and um it's actually kind of funny it's actually funny like for somebody to uh go from hero to villain and then down to like sewage that's been a quite the big transformation and like the worse like the more people call him out the worse he gets the more he lies and i hate that i really do because like part of me is like hey i i like old boogie and you're never going to get that old boogie back and the same thing's happening with like rich at review tech usa we used to like his content too when he talked about you know video games uh electronics technology and all that stuff and uh, then he became some kind of edge lord. Then he became an internet troll. Now he's some dude that's begging for money on uh, whatever Twitch or whatever and bitching about everybody that talks about him when he opens up a crusade against these people and try to dox them or find information to try to take them down or possibly allegedly uh, hacking a computer that was given to them by Rich. There's a lot there. There's a lot there. It's huge. Um but there's some content that I've been wanting to make, and I know in the past I've dabbled in it, I've talked into it, um, and I know it's spicy because not everybody is going to agree on what I have to say, but I think there's room for it because how I look at it, it's like, hey, we all have uh, opinions on certain things. Maybe we should respect that instead of uh, eating each other alive because we don't like you. Um, and that's some of the political stuff that's going on. And by the way, if you watch that debate, put a one in chat. I'm not chat. Just uh, let me know what you thought about that. Just be honest. I, I want to know. I really want to know because uh, I watched that thing uh, while it was happening. I hopped on Max and started watching it. And oh my God. That was borderline elder abuse, what happened there. That was. That was actually sad. Uh, it was almost worse than, I don't know, uh, not old yeller. Where the red fern grows? Grumpy old men? I don't know. Um, it was, it was kind of crazy, kind of kind of crazy. You've seen a lot of people just like freaking out over this thing. Uh, but I do want to talk about stuff like that, especially in my point of view, because I consider myself libertarian. And I know some people are like, you can't be libertarian, you can't be conservative. If if you're not, li if you don't pick a side, you're either this or you're either that. And me, I'm right in the middle because I see good on both sides and I see bad on both sides. And I was like, well, I'm not going to commit to this or that unless I have to. Um, and that was the case for other things. So, yeah, I just want to know, what do you guys think? you think we should be able to talk about this stuff without killing each other um, under a understanding that, hey, when I talk about these things, I'm not aiming hate at certain groups, um, especially right now with uh, some of the things we've been seeing on X with the pride events, like the pride parades, some shit I can't even show you on this channel because it's downright disturbing. And I don't know why it's even allowed. But I'll tell you a little bit. I'll tell you a little bit. So in some of the pride parades that we know, especially I think in Canada and San Francisco, um, there's been footage of just a bunch of naked dudes just swinging dick, just 
walking through uh, this parade just completely naked or on uh, bicycles and stuff like that. And I was just thinking, I was like, well, this isn't the pride parades. Like they say, hey, uh, this is family friendly. And I'm just thinking, I was like, there's kids going to be there if it's family friendly. Like, you know that, right? You know, when you say family friendly, that means family and doesn't mean not kids. And of course, kids are going to show up to that. You're probably wondering, like, why would some parents take their kids or something like that? Well, I mean, there's people that are really hyper progressive that sees no problem with a bunch of naked dudes walking down the street. Now, it even gets worse. Now, I'm not going to show you this. I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to give you some minute detail. I'm just going to tell you. I'm just going to tell you. So there's some other videos of some of the Pride celebrations. And one was showing a, I think it was a fetish zone. And it was basically a, an area kind of sectioned off. I don't know if there was like people getting, getting access or like badges or stuff like that. I don't know the full details. But there was this dude in a kid's tub. He's like naked. He has a little bit of chaps on, some leather stuff. And there was two other guys beside of him. And they was urinating on him while he's rolling around in this bathtub. Not on only that, not only that, performs fellatio on the guy. Now, this video exists. This really does, and I'm not going to link it to you. I'm not going to put that in the description, but it exists. And for me to take a look at it, I'm like, I know for a fact that not all LGBTQ people uh, act like that. That's, that's a minority of that group, not all of them. And I know a lot of people are like, especially if you're like far right, you're like, hey, all of them's that way. And I'm sick. No, not all of them's that way. I mean, that does make them look bad, but it's not all of them. Just like how we talk about cops, so, you know, there's some bad cops, but there's also a lot of good cops. And I seen that video um, going through my feed and I was like, what the fuck is going on? Why is this allowed? Why is this happening? Why, why does this exist? Um, I don't, I don't know. And the only thing I could say is like, that's not stunning and brave, which some people would say, uh, that's more degeneracy. That's inappropriate. Um, some of them will say, Hey, there's, there's kids aren't going to be well. Well, if it's an open, if it's an open venue, a family friendly event, there's going to be kids coming in. Now you see also other videos where kids are with drag queens, which I don't, you know, I don't, I don't care. That's fine. Um, but some of the drag queens were completely naked and they had like their fake boobs and stuff like that. And they're walking around with kids. And I'm like, hey, leave the fucking kids alone. Please leave the kids out of this. Leave the kids out of this. And I do want to talk about this stuff without like getting blasted and call it homophobe because I think that is a big problem in the current culture war is we're too afraid to call out what's indecent or in terms of the other videos I'm making, there's no there's no problem for me to talk about people doing bad shit. But when we talk about the other stuff, people get all riled up. And I want to be able to have a space where I can talk about this stuff. Uh, I know some people are going to get on my ex and be like, you are a degenerate uh, Nazi Republican. And I'm, I'm definitely not. Um, there's, like I said, I'm not. I'm not really. Um but I do like some things. So if you hopped on my ex and you see my uh, post, you're probably gonna be like, this guy, this guy is mean. I am a troll. I'm a big troll on X, really big. And when I see something I don't like, I usually react to it, uh, no matter what side it is. Um, and I know somebody told me that uh, all the people that I follow on X are horrible Nazis. They're terrible people. Uh, because they're on the right wing. But if they take a look at the other people I follow, there's a bunch of people on the left wing. I actually have some libertarians I follow. So I kind of follow everybody. Uh, and yeah, if you hop on next, you're probably just like, the majority of them is right wing. I'm like, I know, I know. I'm not really ashamed of that. That's fine. I, that's that's for me. That's fine. Um, but I want to know, what do you guys think? You think we should talk about stuff like that? Um, I know it's spicy, but I know... It would be a good thing to use for a debate. And another thing I wanted to talk about too while we're on it. So I've been thinking a lot about doing a special um, streaming series a lot uh, recently. Um, and it was basically gaming oriented. 
Now, not only on X is there a cultural war, there's also something called the console wars. Basically, what that entails is just people arguing back and forth that they like PlayStation or Xbox. And these people take this shit seriously. Well, you know, because back in the day, during the 360 PS3 era, I used to be the same way. Um, but it's, a, it's definitely interesting. I do want to do that and get some people on and just talk about these things and maybe have some people square off against each other. Uh, that's just a thing I'm looking at. But I'm changing a lot of the content around... Uh, to stuff that's my personality more um, because there's a lot of stuff that I talk, like think about that you guys don't know. I want to be more genuine. Uh, I don't want to just put on a happy face. I don't want to just be an asshole, uh, but I do want to talk about things that um, are pretty wild and spicy. So let me know in the comments. Definitely appreciate it. Love you all. See you guys soon.